Hello everyone, welcome to a little weekend in my life vlog. I have no other reason for filming this video on this particular weekend other than the fact that I wanted to and that's good enough for me. I'm not doing anything extra or exciting this weekend. It's just the standard stuff that I normally do on the weekends, laundry, tidying, reading, chilling, all the things. I basically only have two other things that I would really like to do this weekend. One is get my groceries, which I did place my Walmart grocery pickup order um, and I'm picking those up around four or five o'clock and then going for a walk today with my little Bruce Wayne which you can see right here in the corner um because we it's just been way too cold and with his ears the way that his ears are up like this if it's like snowing or raining or anything water gets in there and then it gets ear infections and it's just a nightmare so it is a beautiful sunny day outside it is chilly I'm gonna need a jacket for sure and some long socks but um I really want to take him out and get him moving get him walking can maybe you know scrub down those nails a little bit on the cement and I think it'll be a good time so that's what we're doing this weekend and I thought I would just take you guys along with me as you guys saw this morning I had some coffee I came into my office and I started reading Mr. Magic and I'm really enjoying this book this is obviously not a reading vlog but I will be mentioning the books that I read because that's mostly what I do on the weekends as well is like read because I don't really have time or the desire to do much reading throughout the week so the weekends are like my time to read and this book I've been highly anticipating for a really long time and I am really enjoying it so far there's just so much intrigue already and I'm only like 52 pages into it and I'm super intrigued about what's going on because everything is just a little too funky for me and it's not adding up quite right <laughs> and I'm I'm intrigued so gonna be reading that today I'm hoping to get through the entirety of it today because I'm I listen to the audiobooks of all of the books that I read and it really does help me get through books quite quickly um, But this one is a really short book. It's only like 300 and something pages So I know that I can get through that this afternoon and then I'm hoping to start love theoretically tonight and read it into tomorrow and finish it tomorrow so fingers crossed on that. But speaking of books, let's do a little book haul because I did buy some new books. Let me go grab them really quick. Okay, so if you missed my February reading wrap up, you guys will have missed that I did get bingo for the month of February. And I didn't just get one, I didn't just get two, I got three bingos. And the rule that I have for myself is that if I get a bingo, I get to buy a book. Not I get to buy a book for every bingo that I get, but that is what happened this past month. The insanity kicked in the second that I logged onto the Amazon app and I went a little crazy. So I did buy three new books for my bookshelves and yesterday, it was Friday afternoon, I got off work at noon and I went directly over to Big O Tires to get my tires rotated and my oil changed. They were like, oh yeah, the guy that's doing, you know, the work on your car is going to lunch in like five minutes. So it's gonna be a little bit and I was like, that's fine. Like there's a coffee shop right across the street. There's a bookstore right next door. Everything will be fine. My car took four hours. I had Brian come and pick me up after a little while because I was like, I'm I'm done. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. I was at the coffee shop for a while, loved the vibes, but there were so many screaming kids in there. Mm -mm. Nope, no thank you. I was there for a little while, ate my food, drank my smoothie, read for a little bit, went over to the bookstore and I bought three more books. So let's chat about them all. So we'll start with the ones that I got from Amazon for my bingo winnings. The first one is Sky's End by Mark Gregson. I saw a reel by this author on his Instagram and I saw that he was talking to his middle school class because he's a middle school teacher about this book and they were so stoked for him and it just, I don't know, it just gave me all the feels. So I decided to put it in my Amazon wish list and decided that now was the time to buy it. This is a series and it's I believe it's like a YA fantasy like high fantasy type vibe at least the cover looks it you can't tell me that that does not look high fantasy as hell um but I'm really looking forward to digging into it and I think it's going to be a really fun time and again it's a series don't know how many there are but we shall see then the next one that I got was one that was on my anticipated reads for 2024 list and that is A Tempest of Tea by Hafsa Faisal and I've never read anything by this author but I've heard nothing 
nothing but good things. So I have a feeling that this is going to be an absolute dream for me because it's vampires. It's like underground types of vibes, like kind of like a speakeasy type thing, I think. And there's like a mystery element. I'm not entirely sure, but it sounded great. And it, I love the cover. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I really want to try out some new authors this year. Like that's a huge goal of mine is to try out some new authors and especially diversify like my reading in where the story takes place, different countries, different religions, different cultures, things like that. I just really want to experience more. So I feel like this is going to be really fun and a little bit paranormal, which I love. And then the last one from Amazon is the second book in the Shepherd King duology, and that is Two Twisted Crowns by Rachel Gillig. This one is the sequel to One Dark Window, which I read at the end of February. And with the way that that book ended, I needed to buy this because I just feel like this is going to be another adventure, another quest, same great characters, and I think it's going to be a really good time. So this was basically an auto buy, to be honest. The second that I saw that I got a bingo on my board, it was a Tempest of Tea or two Twisted Crowns. And then I saw that I got two and those were automatic. So, you know, I'm very excited to dig into that one. Then for the ones that I got at my little local bookstore, it is like a little locally owned spot, very small. They carry well used, well loved books. So the first one that I found is Mislaid in Parts Half Known by Shauna McGuire. This is the most recent release in the Wayward Children series. If you don't know anything about the series, I highly recommend it. Basically, it follows a bunch of kids that are dealing with traumatic situations at home and in their real life. And they each find a door that leads them to a world that is perfect for them and what they need to be able to heal for the most part. And then when they come back to the real world, sometimes they find it really difficult to get back into normal life. And so they go and live at Eleanor West's school for wayward children. So some of the books take place in the magical worlds. Some of the books takes place in the school. But either way, I just love every single one that I've read. And like I said, this is the most recent one. All the other ones I rented from my library. I would love to own the entire series at some point because this is the only one that I actually own myself but it's a it's an investment for sure to be able to own the entire series all right and then the last two that I got are actually two that I have no idea what I'm getting myself into the first one that I saw is this one the curse of Penrith Hall by Jess Armstrong never heard of this author never heard of this title I just saw that it was a mystery on there and I love going into books blind because I have no expectations no preconceived notions about what I'm getting myself into and I think some Sometimes for me, I get more success that way because I'm not putting it up on a pedestal that I did not put it up on myself. And I think that this is going to be a really fun time. And I didn't even read the synopsis, to be honest with you. And I kind of don't want to. Like I'm forcing myself not to because I want to go into this as blind as possible. And then the last one, again, have no idea what this is about. Never heard of this author or title either. And it's A Strange and Stubborn Endurance by Foz Meadow and I just saw like the spine sitting just like this on the shelf and for some reason like the text the color the little feather that's down on the bottom just intrigued me and I pulled it out and I saw the cover and I was like "Ooh, I'm taking you home and I think this is a duology because I saw a book that looks basically the same with a different title by the same author so I have a feeling there's a second book to this one and I really want to see if I enjoy this one and if I do I'll go ahead and pick up the second one in paperback because the other one that was there was a hardcover. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want to get like one paperback and one hardcover. It's not my vibe. So uh, yeah, if I enjoy this, then I will go ahead and pick up the second one. But this one is a queer romance fantasy vibe. And I'm hoping that I really enjoy this <laughs> because I am looking, like I said about Hafsa Faisal, like I'm looking for new authors that are new to me that I've never heard of before because sometimes you just find some gems that you didn't see coming. So love that. Very excited to add those six books to my bookshelves. Did I need them? Absolutely not. Like I look like a crazy person with the bookshelf situation that I have here. I have like two tall bookshelves full, like packed to the gills <laughs> of books that I have not read yet. Two small bookshelves full of books that I have read that is very full and I am going to need another bookshelf ASAP. Like the second that I finish the books for March, I have no room on my bookshelves anymore. That's how it's going. So I need to figure this out. <laughs> this is insane. Um, But yeah, 
I'm very excited about all the six books. So anyway, I am going to eat a muffin. <laughs> because Brian bought some banana nut muffins and I have like the package in here, but I'm gonna eat a muffin. I'm gonna read some more of Mr. Magic and then I think we'll go for a walk because I don't want it to get too chilly when the sun starts to go down. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, bye. <laughs> Also, please let me know how you guys eat muffins. Do you guys do this as well? Like rip the top off and eat them separately. I always eat the base first and then I eat the top because the top is always the best. Obviously, muffin tops are fantastic. And I just get this part like out of the way, if you will. <laughs> and then I save the best for last. Let me know if you are the same. This is superior muffin eating in my opinion. All right, everyone. We are back home from our walk. Unfortunately, I got only one little clip of Brucey on our walk. And that's mostly because our walk was only like 20 minutes because the wind was thriving today and it was horrific. My eyes were watering so bad, I could not physically see. And then I tried to turn to have the wind blowing at my back because I don't care about that. Um, but then of course the wind shifted, like right when I did that. So then it started blowing in my face again. And I was trying to extend our walk a little bit and go a little bit further down so that I could make a bigger loop to go back to our house. Um, but I went down a street and this little girl was like riding her bike in the street. And then all of a sudden her German Shepherd just like bolted out of the garage, started running after Brucey and I. I'm like, where are your parents? What is happening? <laughs> and of course the dog is running after us. She's pedaling on her little bike with her little training wheels, trying to chase the dog. And I'm like, an adult? Someone over the age of 18. Like anybody, truly. No one in sight. I'm very confused. But um, yeah, I didn't feel like getting attacked today by another dog. Obviously this German Shepherd could be very nice. He could be the sweetest dog in the world. I don't know that because I've never met him before and I'm not gonna take the risk. If it was just me, I would take the risk because like, you know, I, I kind of know how to handle aggressive-ish dogs, uh, but Brucey is not gonna know that. <laughs> and Brucey's fine with other dogs. He has a mentality of like, you exist, good for you. And then like goes and minds his own business. <laughs> He's not aggressive toward other dogs at all. He doesn't really even care about other dogs. Um, but the German Shepherd, I don't know. So we came home as fast as humanly possible. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're now sitting here in my office. Brucey is laying down back here. You might not be able to see him, but he is laying down. And I have started laundry for the, our bedding. And I'm currently on page 98 of Mr. Magic. So I'm gonna continue reading that. And I also ordered myself some lunch because I'm starving. That muffin is a distant memory and I'm really hungry. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, yeah, I'll check in later. <laughs> the only person that carries my groceries in this way. <laughs> like, I have all of them on one singular arm. This one is free ranging, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, um, just thought I would update you. Uh, since I last spoke to you, obviously, I just walked Brucey for 20 minutes and then I ate my lunch decided to actually go upstairs to our room and lay down on our bed, which I don't know why, but there's like, there's a sense of comfort laying on my bed with no sheets on it. That is not the same as laying on my bed with clean sheets. Does anyone else feel this way? Anyway, um, did that with Brucey and then Brian came home for his break from two to five and he came upstairs and laid down with us. We started watching Dateline. I fell asleep and then Brian fell asleep next to me. I woke up to him waking up and needed to leave to go back to work at five. And I also woke up to two messages from the Walmart app saying, hey, you have a pickup order. Yeah, I know. Um, So I just got back from picking up my groceries, obviously, as you guys saw. Um, And I stopped at a little spot we have in town called Scooters. And I love their stuff, but they're, my favorite thing from them is their strawberry smoothies. So good, so fresh, just delicious. I normally don't get whipped cream and I actually ask for no whipped cream because I don't really need it. It, um, but they put it on there anyway. I think it's because I gave a tip. And I don't think many people tip people that make salary or hourly, high hourly. Anyway, uh, just got home with all of that. So I'm gonna put my groceries away and then I'm gonna go back upstairs, shift around the laundry because 
I fell asleep and then continue reading because I'm not almost done with Mr. Magic but I'm very close to finishing so I know I can finish it this evening and that'll also give me time to either start Love Theoretically if I really want to or I can just read that one tomorrow um and then I can watch my trashy reality stuff tonight aka the sixth time around that I'm watching Selling Sunset but that's neither here nor there so there we go. <laughs> I'm very confused about what I just read. <laughs> I'm not rating this right now and I know this isn't a reading vlog so I'm going to be very brief with this but I'm not going to rate this because I genuinely feel like I need to reread this and rather than having it just like in my ears taking a walk doing laundry that kind of thing I need to be like this just like in it pouring myself into the book because I miss some stuff you can't convince me otherwise this book was bizarre there's a lot of characters there's a lot of deceit there's a lot of mystery and weirdness going on and I'm just very confused but in the best way like I had a really good time with it I just feel like I miss stuff it's weird basically you have your main girl Val she used to work on this television show when she was a kid, has no recollection of it whatsoever. She's lived on this ranch ever since she was eight years old when her dad took her away from the show. The show was canceled because one of the other kids went missing while on the show. And there's nothing on the internet about the show. Like there's no YouTube videos, there's no posts. If somebody posts something, it's kind of like shut down, like, oh, that never happened. Um, you know, just kind of making it seem like the show was never real and it's kind of a a Mandela effect basically right like that's kind of the vibe here and it's a very strange <laughs> concept and there's a podcast that is starting because they want to try to revive the show and they want to get all the old castmates back together and Val goes on this trip to go and be on this podcast, even though she has no recollection of being on the show, all of her other castmates remember her being there. And so she's just kind of like taking these people's word. <laughs> and it's strange. I don't know. I need to reread this. I'm hoping to get to it at the end of the month after I finish all the other books on my TBR because that was on my TBR. But I would like to finish all the other books that I have allotted for March. And if I finish all of those, then I can reread Mr. Magic. But it was a bizarre one. Um, had fun, but very confused. <laughs> uh, in other news, I have been looking at my little tabs that I got from Amazon because I am working on a collab project and I'm trying to find tabs that match the collab project. <laughs> I'm trying to be vague here. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna sit here and pick out my colorful tabs and then finish watching this, uh, what do you call it? Reading sprints with Mel Reads. She posted them on Wednesday this past week and obviously I was working and she always has reading sprints like while I'm still at work, unfortunately, which is very sad for me. Um, so I'm going to finish doing that. And then after probably around like 8.15 or 8.30, I'll probably make myself some food because I'm just not hungry right now. I think this smoothie, like I've been working on it, but it's kind of filling me up and it's tasty. So that's the vibes for Saturday night. And uh, yeah. I'll check in later. <laughs>
happy Sunday. Uh, since I last spoke to you, it hasn't been that eventful, <laughs> which is not shocking for my life. Basically last night after I talked to you guys, I didn't actually eat any dinner because I just wasn't hungry. And then I got ready for bed, like took a shower, washed my face, did all the things. Brian came home from work and we watched The Mummy. I forgot how much I enjoyed that movie. And now we've already planned that tonight we're gonna watch the second one because we loved it. It was a good time. And that's basically it. I mean, we stayed up late watching The Mummy, but it was a fun time. And I just, you know, I love being able to spend time with him and like enjoy our time more together because I feel like when I was working at the restaurant and our schedules were so in sync, we had so much time together that we didn't appreciate it as much. Whereas now our time together is minimal compared to what it was, um, but it just makes us appreciate our time together a lot more. And I know that that's like a weird thing and a weird mind mindset, but I think working with your spouse and having the exact same days off and having the exact same schedule, you do kind of like forget what it's like to miss them because you're always with them. Like I was with him seven days a week and now you know, I just have the evenings and I have two to five on the weekends with him. And that's basically it. Like we don't have as much time together as we used to. So we appreciate it a lot more. So I'm very grateful for that. But that's basically how Saturday ended. And then this morning I took a shower, which is why my hair looks like this. Also, do you see this gray? This is insane. I'm 31. <laughs> Like, I need to get it together. Um, I think part of this is genetics, but I also think part of it is stress. The first one I can't help. The second one, I also kind of can't help, but whatever. Uh, I do need to go and get my hair redone. I need to get it touched up, roots done, all the things. Um, but I washed my hair, did a face mask, did a body mask. I never do body masks, but my mask of Magnum Minty from Lush was expired and I needed to use it up because I didn't want it to go to waste. It's, it's expensive. And I just used it as like a body mask slash exfoliant and I used it up this morning. Go me. So it was a super refreshing, very cleansing shower and I loved every second of it. So now I am going to continue reading Love Theoretically. I did start this this morning and I'm like 50% of the way through. I'm currently watching Mel Reed's Patreon sprints that she does every Sunday, which is definitely helping me get through this quite quickly. Um, hence why I have my headphones in so that I can hear my audiobook but also hear my um, my computer where I'm watching sprints from. Um, and yeah, I'm just having a great cozy, low-key, chill Sunday and that's exactly what I like, especially because I do obviously have to go to work tomorrow. Um, I just... I need like a full reset on Sundays and that's what I'm getting and I love that for me. So I'm gonna go downstairs and make some lunch right now and then just continue reading and chilling and having a cozy Sunday. And I hope you guys are having a cozy day as well. <laughs> There are multiple thoughts rolling around in my little noodle of a brain right now. Um, thought number one, I did have dinner. You guys will have seen that. Did I eat all of that? Absolutely not. <laughs> I had buffalo chicken pasta for dinner and I made myself enough for lunch tomorrow and probably multiple meals throughout the next few days. It's just the ex bodybuilder in me. I cannot and refuse to cook chicken multiple times a week. It's just not gonna happen. It gags me out so bad to touch chicken. Mm -mm, no, I'd rather die. So either I get it all done in one go or I don't do it at all. And that's just that on that. Um, also, another thought that I'm having right now <laughs> is that I look homeless with this up, but I'm just trying to contain this monstrosity that lives upon my head because the amount of space that my hair has the audacity to take up in the universe is just simply atrocious. But I am trying to let my hair air dry in order to be able to style it for work tomorrow. So there's that. Uh, also, I am coming to terms <laughs> with the fact I am one of those people that needs makeup in order to look like I have a pulse. I'm coming to terms with that right now in this time of my life, and it's not a good thing. <sighs> It's a harsh reality. Um, and then last but not least, what have I been doing? Because I haven't been vlogging today. I basically did dishes 
did another load of laundry because we had enough for one clothing load. Uh, set my washer to the self-clean because bacteria. Um, and then tidied up my office, all that fun stuff. And then I finished Love Theoretically. Okay, if you haven't read this book, please do. Oh my God, Ali Hazelwood deserves a crown, a throne, the jewels, and a castle because she is the queen of romance in my heart and soul and she can do no wrong. Bride was a little bit, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't love Bride as much as I wanted to and I so desperately wanted to. It just wasn't my jam. I don't think I'm an Omegaverse type of girl. It was just weird. <laughs> so do with that information what you will, but love theoretically, five stars, babe, five stars. And then I decided because I finished that while I was sitting in my office alone because Brian needed to take a nap on his break from two to five today because he's just bouncing around the restaurant like a ping pong ball because it's very busy this weekend. Um, I finished love theoretically and I was like, <laughs> I'm unwell in the head. Let's just go ahead and start Daughter of No Worlds. Let's do that. So I read the prologue currently on chapter one. <laughs> I am already intrigued. I have a feeling I'm gonna love it. I love a fantasy romance. I love a strong female lead and I've heard nothing but good things. So I'm hoping for the best. Um, and yeah, that's basically all I've been doing all day and into this evening. It's currently 6 49 p.m. And I just want to curl up in bed, read, chill, snuggle with Brucey, and be cozy. And I also need to edit this vlog because <laughs> it's got to go up on Wednesday. So that's that. Um, I hope that you guys did enjoy this very chatty, uh, slightly boring, actually not slightly, very boring vlog, I'm sure. I'm so sorry that I don't have more of an exciting life, but this is just what it is. Uh, I live in Wyoming. That's that's the main reason. Let's let's be honest. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Nonetheless, if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Ring the little bell icon if you want to be notified every single time I post. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!